Facts First presents 9 Scientifically Impossible Places That Actually Exist Everybody knows about the seven wonders of the world. Places like the Grand Canyon and the Great Pyramid of Giza, they are amazing and big, but are they truly awesome? I mean, in the literal sense of the word? Are they enough to leave a person in awe? But there are many places in the world that seem like they could belong on a different planet other than Earth. These are places that are more impressive than the seven wonders of the world, for sure, at least in the eyes of science. They're just not generally known to the regular public. If they were, you'd be shocked and amazed by them as well, and we're about to find out. There are places on Earth scientists just can't figure out, and I've got nine of them to share with you. And we'll make our way from number nine to number one in just a moment. First, help us spread the word about Facts First by clicking that like button. And also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. I gotta tell you, number one is really freaky. Number nine, never-ending lightning storm. In western Venezuela, over the mouth of the Catatumbo River, an amazing lightning storm occurs. At 7 p.m. every night, the lightning begins and it crashes over the water. This goes on for about 10 hours every single night. Well, almost. It happens 260 nights each year. You might as well say every night. Nobody has any idea why this occurs, either. Up until recently, it was believed it had something to do with the uranium in the bedrock. And over the years, scientists have debunked that theory. Some experts believe the shape of the mountains have caused warm trade winds to collide with the cold air from the Andes. And that collision can cause the water below to evaporate quickly, causing the methane below to reach the sky and cause the constant lightning. There are over 280 lightning strikes per hour and 1.2 million lightning strikes per year. The amazing light show can be seen by people who live even as far as 250 miles away. Everything scientists have is all based on theory. We may never know what's causing these amazing lightning storms. Imagine living somewhere where two out of every three nights you get a lightning storm to go to bed to. Number 8. The Hum of the Teos in north-central New Mexico, there's a very strange phenomenon that occurs quite often, and it has nothing to do with the many celebrities who live in the area. Sure, Julia Roberts, Dennis Hopper, D.H. Lawrence, um, Donald Rumsfeld, they all call this place home. And these people love the area for its laid-back, artsy vibe. However, that's not the phenomenon I'm talking about. The first time this hum was noticed was way back in the early 90s. And when the sound was first reported, Joe Mullins, a professor emeritus of engineering at the University of New Mexico, conducted a study in the area, and he found that about 2% of the public are hearers, which means they can detect this hum. After measuring the sound with high-tech equipment, it was found it wasn't just one hum, it was several. Many people have various theories when it comes to this sound. Some say it's related to the paranormal. Some believe that it's a secret government experiment about mind control. Others somehow place UFOs to blame. Number 7. Circles of Namibia In the African desert of Namibia, there are strange circles that are cut into the grass. Now, What makes these circles so strange is that they are carved into the grass at regular intervals. Each of the circles is perfectly created, and they can range from 10 to 65 feet in diameter. Scientists and other experts have studied these circles, and they just can't figure out how they were caused. Over the years, there have been a few theories surrounding the circles, but they've all been debunked. In 2013, an environmental scientist named Norbert Jurgens believed that it was termites that caused the circles. In 2015, a biologist named Walter Schenkel he tested that hypothesis and disproved it. While with no other explanations out there, many people think aliens are causing the circles, of course. Alien enthusiasts are sure that something non-human had to create these circles because of their size, frequency, and that they are all the same shape – perfect circles. But we may never know the truth. Number 6. The Sleeping City of Kalashi this city sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, or maybe Disney's Sleeping Beauty. This is a real city, though, and something extremely strange 
happened to most of the people who lived there. The area is a rural city in the Essel district of Akmola region in Kazakhstan. In 2014, over one-fifth of the population became affected with a sleep syndrome. People all over town would simply drop to the ground and fall asleep without any notice at all. People could be found on the streets and in their homes, passed out. When the residents weren't falling asleep all over town, they were suffering from fatigue, memory loss, and hallucinations. In 2015, it was reported that more than half the residents were thinking about moving. Experts aren't sure what's causing the epidemic, however, since there is a uranium mine nearby, it was believed that radiation poisoning had something to do with the problem. But that theory was quickly debunked when the residents had blood tests and they all came up clean – no radiation at all. Also, there is another town that is close to the mine and none of those residents are suffering from the ailment. Number 5. The Double Tree of Cazorzo This tree is located in Piedmont, Italy, and it looks like a typical cherry tree at first glance. When you look down closer to the ground, you'll see what makes this tree so amazing. On the top is a cherry tree. On the bottom is a mulberry tree. Trees like this are not all that unusual. This one is, though, because most of these kinds of trees have very short lifespans. But this tree is huge, and it's been around for a very long time. And nobody, including scientists, know how this happened. The locals believe that a bird dropped the seed from a cherry tree onto the mulberry tree and that it just took off. They believe that the seed was able to fall down the trunk of the mulberry tree and it was able to take root. Soon, the cherry tree started to blossom from the top. Now, while there are theories, nobody's really been able to prove for sure how this amazing tree has grown to live so long and grow so large. There's just no way of knowing how the tree grew and how it stood healthy for so long. Yet another one of the mysteries of the world. Number 4. Lake Karachay there were many nuclear facilities in the Soviet Union. The facilities were not planned out or designed very well. Within one of the factories is a lake, and the lake contains more radioactive material than any other place in the world. In fact, the lake is so radioactive that if you stand by it for an hour, you will die. This occurred because the Soviet Union would pour the nuclear waste into the lake. This disposal practice did more than create a deadly lake. In 1957, an explosion blew the entire factory apart and the radioactive particles inside spread over 14,200 miles, making the area more radioactive than even Chernobyl. The government has since poured concrete over the lake to keep something like this from happening again. However, the area is still extremely unstable and it's also incredibly radioactive. The government recommends that the public steer clear of this covered lake because the area still poses a huge threat. Had the Soviets at the time had the knowledge and the expertise to create a proper power plant, this lake would not be quite so dangerous and would be extremely powerful. It may have actually turned the tide of the world and the Soviets could have been the number one power. Number 3. Mobile Cave the Movile Cave is located in southeastern Romania, and it is not your ordinary cave. This cave has been sealed off from the world for five and a half million years. Not even the slightest ray of light has entered the cave all these years. The atmosphere in this cave is completely different than the atmosphere anywhere else on Earth. The oxygen level in this cave is only about a third of the concentration you would find elsewhere in the normal air. The cave was discovered when a group of workers was scouting the area to find the best place to build a power plant. They never expected to come across a cave that had been sealed up for so long. When they dug into the ground to see if the ground was stable enough to hold a power plant, they broke right through into the cave. Well, after going through a few tunnels, the cave opens to a lake where the water is full of sulfuric acid. It smells of rotten eggs. The air inside the cave is toxic. The strangest thing about this cave is, despite the sulfuric acid water and the lack of oxygen, scientists still found 48 species of creatures, including spiders, leeches, and scorpions. And of the species discovered, 33 of them don't exist anywhere else in the world except for this cave. It wasn't until the cave was discovered and examined that scientists discovered that these 33 species even existed. The fact these creatures have been able to thrive in such a toxic environment is incredible. 
The air down in this cave is so toxic, explorers and researchers have to wear safety equipment just to go in exploring. The creatures that are living down there have been living safely, though, for millions of years. The fact that the cave has its own ecosystem has scientists baffled. If it weren't for the group of workers trying to find a site for a power plant, this cave may never have been discovered. Number 2. Hesedalen Lights The Hesedalen Lights are unexplained lights that stretch across a 7.5-mile-long stretch in the Hesedalen Valley in rural central Norway. The lights appear during the day and the night, and they appear to float above the valley. The lights appear bright white, red, or yellow. You can see them both above the horizon and below it. The lights were first seen in the 1930s. The highest level of activity, though, occurred between December 1981 through the middle of 1984, and at the peak, you could see the lights between 15 and 20 times each week. This attracted many overnight tourists to the area. In 2010, the number of instances had dwindled. Today, you can only see the lights about 10 to 20 times per year. Scientists have a few theories about what causes the lights. Some believe the lake below is radioactive, and when the radon rides the dust particles, it causes the sky to light up. Others believe that the valley is full of sulfuric acid. When the water reacts to the sulfur, some scientists believe that it can produce sparks. Some people believe that aliens are the ones causing the lights to occur. While scientists have conducted tests in the area hundreds of times, there's no concrete proof of what causes the sky to light up the way it does. And number one, Devil's Kettle. This is probably my favorite one on the list. As far as strange places on Earth go, Devil's Kettle is certainly the one that takes the cake. It's located in the Judge C. R. Magny State Park in Minnesota. Now, at a certain point along the Brule River, the water in the river splits in two, and one side continues its course to Lake Superior, the other split goes to a place where we don't know. Scientists know the water goes somewhere, of course, but they just don't know where. And Scientists have studied the Devil's Kettle for quite some time. During one experiment, they put green dye into the kettle to see which part of the river came up green and unfortunately, it didn't come out green anywhere. So next, they decided to try using ping-pong balls to see where they would come out and pop up back to the surface. Oddly enough, the balls disappeared without a trace. Scientists are baffled by this. They think that the water could be going underground, but there should be some kind of markings in the area to let them know that. There should be some way to track where the water goes, but so far scientists have yet to figure it out. You know, maybe there's a parallel universe where the river's filled with green water and ping pong balls. You just don't know. Or you can do what people did with the other eight entries and just blame it on aliens. Each of these nine phenomena can't be explained by science, at least not yet. They truly are mysteries of the world. Which one was your favorite? Tell us in the comments below and subscribe for more.